fumble with my badges. How many badges do you have? <laughs> we don't need those stinking badges. <laughs> so you think that you get your card. It's not true. You don't. I uh, get your card. No, I know you need the card because you need to know what to ask me. Because I don't know who you are. Right. Is there anyone watching that actually believes that? <laughs> No. Right, I didn't no, think so. No, I don't so. think so. Um, this is Brian Ooh. M. Westbrook at BMW on Twitter, and where can we find you online? Uh, BrianWestbrook.com is the easiest place. Uh, that's my first name, B-R-I-A-N, Westbrook.com. And what are you doing here? Well, I'm, uh, I'm actually really excited about Open Source Bridge. Uh, I grew up in Portland, as everyone may know, and uh, I've seen a lot of conferences come through town. What's exciting to me about this one in particular is the fact that it's completely volunteer driven. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of the people that I've come to know over the last year. And for me to not be here would be to missing out on seeing all that excitement. And it sounds kind of emotional and I'm supposed to save the emotion for the last day when everybody gives a group hug. But I already feel like seeing people running around doing what they do best and, and Dr. Normal here doing the live stream and everybody just really kind of banding together to, to save the concept of an open source conference mm -hmm. in Portland I think is amazing. And so really there would be no other place I would be. Um, I have felt like I've been in Portland the last three weeks. Uh, it just feels like it's you been nonstop. <laughs> kind of, yeah, actually, for the last couple of weeks between Rose Festival and other events going on and then this. Uh, I gave a talk yesterday morning about social media for business. A lot of the folks I grew up with in Vancouver, Washington were there. You know, they've now gone on to become lawyers and accountants and they said, hey, could you tell us about this social media thing? What do you know about the Twitter? I didn't have much to add, but the Twitter, the Twitter absolutely. Uh, and then later on this week, uh, because I know you were about to ask, because I wrote it down on my card. I know. Yeah, but I figured that you would segue there on your yeah, own. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, if, if, if left in front of a camera and a microphone long enough. I know. Uh, on t tomorrow, Thursday, I'll be doing uh, high definition digital SLR cameras on the square. Uh, live at 7. 7 o'clock, kgw.com. You can watch it live on kgw.com slash the square. Uh, so I contribute technology coverage for them and have a great time doing that. They're a great group of people to work with. And Do you know who the host is tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, I, I believe it's going to be Tracy Berry uh, because our beloved Stephanie Strickland had a baby and we've mm -hmm. seen the photos. Uh, they're available online, again, kgw.com slash the square. Uh, but Stephanie, beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. Beautiful baby, yeah. and uh, she, so she's out obviously on maternity leave, and there's been sort of a, a rolling host of uh, rolling list of yes, guest hosts. Uh, Joe Donlin has done it for a couple of weeks, and Tracy Berry, who you will recognize in Portland as the primary anchor for the evening news mm -hmm. here on KGW. So I'll be doing the square tomorrow with uh, Tracy Berry, a great gal. She always emails me asking me tech questions, so it's kind of fun to be able to do that. And then Friday, something exciting is happening on Friday. What's happening on Friday, Brian? I don't know. Why, why don't you make the announcement? Okay, on Friday, when Open Source Bridge has wrapped up and come to a close and there's been all the tearful hugging and, oh, it's beautiful, man. I love you so much. Everyone's going to wander Practicing. over to Web Trends mm -hmm. for Beer and Blog. And then at 8 o'clock across the street in the Hacker Lounge, we will have the Open Source Bridge after party. Uh, with a podcast from Strange of Live, and instead of winging it and being on my own, I will have uh, Brian as my co-host. So, uh, Cami asked me um, recently to to co-host that, and I have no idea why. Um, but apparently, the other eight folks that she asked were not available. So, uh, no, that I be, thought you'd be willing to coordinate. I with think me, so. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, again, it's a, it's just a good thing, you know, that uh, it worked out that way. And then I head back up to Seattle on Saturday. And you know, I always say I don't know when I'll be back. And then three days later, <laughs> I'm making that drive. I was back like, down. oh, I'm gonna miss Brian. Oh, you're back already. Oh, Hi, Brian. Oh, Brian. How are you? Hi, Brian. And some people didn't think I ever left. Really. Yeah. I think some people actually do think you live here. A lot of people do, actually. Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, yesterday I had a reason to talk with the Portland police, <laughs> and they were confused by the fact that I was in Portland um, driving a Washington licensed vehicle with a Washington driver's license. Mm -hmm. It sort of struck me as, are Washingtonians not allowed across no. the river? No. I'm sorry. We... Uh just, no, we really... I mean, there are, some, there are some folks... Maybe it's just that you weren't from, from Vancouver. There are some folks watching that really um, would take uh, uh, take a test. At you. Remember? Yeah. Do you remember the whole Twitterizer debate? I do. Over the top 100 list and whether or not you're in Vancouver versus Portland. Yeah. You remember that list? There were some folks that were. Um, I don't want to say left out, but um, 
There were some people that definitely should have been. Oh, absolutely. On the list that, yeah. that were not. One. And that there were some people on the list that you know, maybe. Yeah. That <laughs> should not have been on the list, but you know, yeah. I took my free hard cider. And hey, you know the the, the free beer at uh, Beer and Blog. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, who's buying beer on Friday? Do we know? It's really not. I think that is not yet confirmed. Okay. Well, I I, I think that. Um, I'll be there anyway, yeah. whether or not somebody's buying beer. And the good news is it's right across the street from Pioneer Courthouse Square, so um, maybe we'll stop over and wave it at Tracy. And do the one. Actually, I think idea. Wayne will be doing it on Friday. That's uh, a Friday. fantastic idea. Wayne we can do it. a little round. We web trends, beer and blog. On the way to... KGW, yeah. and then we run over uh, across the street to uh, get the party going. See, there you go. It, it is actually kind of on the way, actually, because if you go out the back door, I'm thinking... I have no Overthinking idea. Overthinking it. I, we'll we'll Clearly. make a little party train. It'll be Clearly. perfect. Party right, train. Um, so... <laughs> yeah. Pay no attention. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. So anytime we have Brian here, anytime anyone has Brian, he always comes bearing fun little gadgets. And the last time we had him on our show, he brought something that Dr. Normal was greatly enamored with, which was the pocket projector. The pocket projector. And I am proud to say that we have put Brian to work here today as the projector holder. Yeah, yeah. Is your arm tired? I... Not yet, um, but the conference really just kind of got kicked off. Yeah. Uh, so we gave if him you're, a break to sit down. If you're looking for me throughout the conference, I will be in the Strange Love Live broadcast headquarters holding the projector so that everyone in the room here, and there's a, quite an audience yeah, amassing here. If you'd here. like to know what we look like on the projector, you can turn around yeah, and see, look you behind go. you. If you wanna, it's if on you, the wall. It's kind of faded. It might be a little weird if people are staring at the projector and not watching what's happening in front of them, but it's sort of like Twittering in an event, right, That's where you're too busy focusing. Kind of thing I would do is Ooh, oh, it looked like ah. you were like a little chipmunk eating. Did you, oh, actually, now, we're, now we're looking at the picture. Because it's, it's, it's not the world's brightest projector, so it's kind of difficult to make. You can make out big shapes, like when I wave my hand. Yeah. But the fact that you something. can walk in here today and be like, oh, look, I brought the projector. Well, it just happened to have it in my bag, yeah. uh, which is uh, rather ironic because yesterday's talk, the projector didn't work. And you didn't have it? Well, I had it, but I, not the right cables, and it was a matter of like, and it's not very bright, yeah. so it would have been more trouble than it's worth. Um, if there were 10 or 15 people, might have been, but there was about 50, and that's not going to be very helpful. Uh, and then there was something else. Oh, I have another gadget um, that I'll bring by later okay. uh, because I didn't think to bring it in my pocket. But uh, but this is a, oh, a it's fun not a gadget. Pocket projector. Well, but it's also a pocket. It fits Ooh. in the pocket, so uh, it's a small device. I'll tease you. Okay. It's a small device that, in some cases, you'll never know why you couldn't live without, and and. Uh, It'll, it'll make your life better everywhere you are. There you go. What could it be? A small device that will make my life better wherever I am mm -hmm. and that I don't know how I couldn't live without. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense, but yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Face. It's not a vase. It's not a vase. It is not a vase, yeah. There will be no vasing yeah. on this. I got no end of grief for that vase. Really? It was my vase. Well, it was your vase, right? And and all we were doing was demonstrating that the camera was waterproof. Uh -huh. So we put it in the vase. Never mind the camera. Never mind the waterproofness of the camera. It was all about the vase. Yeah. Vase, vase, uh -huh. vase. Hashtags are born it's that even, way. Yeah. They are. Vase, yes. Oh, you, did you not know our hashtag? This is our in real life hashtag. Do we need to hashtag something? Our hashtag. Oh. This o means hashtag it? Yeah. OSB09. Is it, oh, so this means hashtag. So OSB09 yeah, is a hashtag, right? Yeah. Seriously? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Okay. So so now do you do you, um and we're getting cues from, from Kelly off camera here. Do you um do we do this and then the hashtag? It's usually at the same time. No, you just you just like um like, you say seriously. It. Oh okay, so it's like air quotes. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay, got it, got it, got yeah. it. Okay. So seriously vase. or vase or yeah. so Oh, it's it's so worth it. Mm -hmm. Last night, not so worth it. No, so anyway, um, Thursday I'll be on the square. Yes. Friday I'll be, I'll, I'll be back here with you on Strange Love Live, and I'll yes. have some fun gadgets that we can play with and uh, some exciting things. Very exciting. And now there's one last little, we have these handy-dandy note cards so that Cammie does not get lost. Uh, we're talking about Seattle-Portland balance. Did we cover that? Well, not really, just that I spent a lot of time between the two. Yeah. You know. Maybe later we can talk about uh, all the fun ways to get between the city. I know there are a lot of folks actually down here from Seattle. Yeah. Um, folks took the train. Folks took the drive. It was fun to watch on Twitter how they get down there because I, I think I have a, a, a PhD in in the slog. I like to call it. The slog. Uh, wait, the slog. Sorry. There, see, slog. there we go. Verso. I'm I'm doing the uh, hashtag slog. thing. Slog. Uh, pound slog. 
so it's kind of fun to see how different people come down. And, and uh, this particular trip for me was a was a bit of a logistical challenge, getting vehicles in the right spots and that kind of thing. But yeah. nobody cares about that. So uh, Open Source Bridge, uh, today, tomorrow, and Friday. Uh, yeah. It'll be pretty exciting. And I'll be checking back with you to see. Uh, I'll be like a little roving reporter, getting, getting folks to fill out their note cards. I've got a stack of note cards. So if you don't feel like coming to the broadcast center, you want to uh, fill out a note card? I can. You know, You'll have to come in eventually to be interviewed. Well, oh, right, but, but I mean, Brian will have the can, note card. I can help him. you sign up. Uh, and he knows the formula. Yeah. The way yeah. that they must be filled I've out. I've seen the template, as yeah. it were. So. Uh, that was the, the work of Verso. You know what I noticed didn't happen, <laughs> or only I guess it did. Did Amy sign the board already? I think so. Look at that. If she did, she signed it really tiny. Well, I think there's a little scribble there. It's a new board, so you have to sign it too. Oh. And I have one more question for you because. I'm finding it curious what different people are doing with their their little ribbons. I'm Cami Chaos. <laughs> you are not. People are gonna think that you're Cami Chaos. People are not gonna think that I'm Cami Chaos. Yeah, we could trade. We could trade. <laughs> um, no, but what are you doing with your little so um, ribbon? I'm, I, I, I actually right before we went on the air, I had the sharpie, uh -huh. um, and then I was thinking about writing at BMW up here, mm -hmm. which is my Twitter handle, just at BMW. Um, but then I don't know what to put on the flag. So the reason I haven't put anything on the flag yet is because I don't, I, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe buttons. Yeah, I went with buttons. Yeah, buttons is a good plan. Uh, Kemi Chaos has buttons along in here. So I think I might put at BMW up here and then I'll, I'll just have to be inspired by, for something down below. I don't know. All right. Well, it's really a challenge though. You gotta, because they put pressure on you. They, they tell you. You got to do something. Did she tell yeah. you when you got she your did. badge you have to do something creative? Well, to be fair, my registration specialist, um, who was great by the way, got me all set up and everything. Was uh, was occupied getting my registration punched up and edited and stuff because uh, I kind of I, I hacked the format and worked out wrong. Yeah. And uh, but the gal next to her was checked in a couple of people while I was uh, there in, in my line and told everyone put something on this white. Yeah. Put just fill it out. Yeah. So do something. There you go. So I'll come up with something, and, and when I check back, we'll know what it is. All right, awesome. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for having me.